guys welcome back so today's video is a little bit different I'm kind of taking like a TikTok type thing I saw and making it into something new so like last week or I don't even know it's been a while I saw this TikTok where this girl took like a color personality test and then like assigned like her friends colors too and I wanted to take this idea and instead of just taking the quiz and showing you like what color I am I'm gonna put the twist of then I have to dress in as much as that color that I can find in my closet which I might not even have it <laughs> depending on the color and then I'm gonna have to take some photos in it and try and look cute which I don't so yeah that's what I'm doing today um, I borrowed my mom's iPad for this. The, oh, I hit something. Okay, well, this is the quiz. Oh, you cannot even see it. It's fine. I'm screen recording anyway, so I'm actually gonna, like, scooch over, and it'll be right here. Okay. It's just screen, yada, yada, you're seeing it. Go to test. What am I to my first time friends? Mind you, this is translated to English because it's not originally in English, so that's probably why some of this is confusing. Um, I tend to talk to people first sometimes. Um, during the weekend, I kind of... I don't know. I don't hate being alone, I guess. <laughs> um, what do I do when playing with my friends? one what do I think more important I feel like both of these say the same thing no present no future no preparation for the future no progress they're like kind of confusing I'm gonna pick that one because I think that's the most positive one out of that like what do I do when I'm working? It's good to go on your own way. It's good to follow what others do. Half the time I'm working alone, so <laughs> I have to be able to know what to do alone. Because, um, well, sidebar, if you don't know, I'm a CNA at a nursing home. And sometimes, depending on how like full the unit is, I am the only CNA that is on that unit. So, yeah. Okay, back to this. What do the others say to me? This is really bothering me. <laughs> they often say that I am creative and unique. Uh, I would go with that one. What if I have to refuse? I tend to not say no to people unless it's something crazy. Um. I probably would have to go with I don't say things in the moment when I'm angry I usually wait and then have a conversation with someone because otherwise I feel like the conversation is more about the moment than what I'm actually trying to get across if that makes sense oh Sorry, I just had to read this question like four times. My friend talks about his worries. Seems to me it's his fault. Then what is my response? Um, honestly, I am a very honest person. I usually tell people things straight up. Um, most of my friends can tell you that. Like, If I feel like they are doing something wrong in a situation and if they come to me I'm not gonna just blurt it to them but if they come to me and ask me about it I'm going to tell them what I think and I have actually yelled at people before but not yell because like I don't usually yell honestly I kind of just like tell them hey you're being an asshole please stop but yeah I, I tell the friend um, what do I do when preparing the supplies um, oh, so like do I prepare things in advance or am I just kind of a procrastinator? Um, honestly, that depends on my mood. Like, 
some days I'm really good about doing all that I have to do like pretty quickly and other days I leave it for like three or four days and then do it so um it really depends on my mood hi Sphinx come on come up but um I would generally say that I wouldn't do it a day in advance unless like I'm packing or something oh she's rubbing on the stand um so I'm just gonna say tomorrow spring stop rubbing on that okay whatever after school I want to go home and study but my friends catch me up to play then okay after all life doesn't go as planned let's play it wasn't the plan very embarrassing oh so like do I have to stay on like a set schedule or do I just go with the flow I guess is what this question is asking and I'm definitely more of go for the flow like half the times when I hang out with people we sit figure out what the fuck we want to do and then go out and do random stuff is how I would say that stuff generally goes especially in summer which I'm so glad is finally coming around um actually this Friday is the last week before spring break so spring break is like this upcoming week as you're watching this and I definitely needed the break it's been long coming I'm so happy about it but that also means that it has been a year since I have been an in-person school because it was spring break that was extended for me and then I never went back so I've been doing school right there for a year now that's love that for me um in general who am i i take care of things as i think of i love to be flexible as planned i like to go through order of made eh, i take care of things as they come is what i would say um, my mom is very the opposite she has to have things very like scheduled and planned um in like certain situations i would rather have things like planned but um, a lot of the time I just kind of go with the flow like I don't usually plan the things if other people plan them but there are certain things that I do plan and I'm very like mm, on those so yeah um, your color is dandelion whoa um, yellow so that's interesting That's interesting because I'm not really a big yellow fan. <laughs> like, I definitely draw some more like pinks and blues, but I guess we're gonna be figuring out some yellow. Plus, I am a Hufflepuff. So that's yellow, so. <laughs> but I don't feel like wearing like my Halloween costume again, because if you don't know, for Halloween, um, my sister, my mom, Marisol, and me were all the different houses from Harry Potter, and we were all, like, our own houses. Well, besides my mom, because my mom is also a Hufflepuff, but we made her be Ravenclaw, because that was the one that was left. So, thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay, but let's read what your personality is. Oh, my bad. Um, what you don't like and what you like is revealed from my emotional expression, so I can flatter to people who don't like. Because I am a free spirit, I am distracted and do not know where to bounce. I can't finish my job well after I started something. Uh, that's not true. If somebody don't come to takes it over, I will do it as I feel frustrating from it. Uh, this English is just really bothering me. Um, I would also say that that's not true. If I start something, I'm going to see it through. I'm also a uh, very much perfectionist. So like... If I am starting something, I'm seeing it to the end, top tier perfect. Although I will probably get stressed out while I do it. So that part's correct. Like I do freak out while doing things, but yeah. Um, before coming friends, I have an ability to become a friend for survival. When I become a friend, I will be an outsider. I like being home a little. I love playing with my friends, but I need my own time too. Okay, that one's true. I'm very much an introvert. I'm at this house like all the time. <laughs> um, and like, especially now, I haven't been hanging out with people as much, but I've also been pretty busy with school and just like going through some stuff. 
but I mean, I definitely still care about my friends, so yeah, but like, I like being alone too, if that makes sense. Um, I am a quick to notice, but if I don't want to do it, I pretend I don't know. <clears throat> okay. I am very expressive and love to talk, a cute piece of charm, reactive person, a professional consumer who just wants to spend money for me. Um, that is also not true. I love giving gifts to people. I actually spend too much money on people and it's something that I need to work on because I just keep giving money to people and they don't pay anything back and then it's very one-sided. And then I go through a huge mental breakdown and I pretty much cut that person out of my life for a while or for good. And yeah, it's kind of an issue. So that is not true. Um, I hate being isolated. That's not true. I look very active, but have lots of thoughts. I meditate a lot. I don't meditate at all. Um, I always smile, but under my face mask, I hide a lot of worries. I guess that's true. But don't cross the line to me. I hate being standing still. I want to do actively. I want to do something. Okay. So is that just saying like I'm not lazy? Um, I don't know. It also says Alice blue and quartz, which are like a light blue and a light purple, which is funny because those are actually my two favorite colors. It's like a really light blue and purple, if you couldn't tell by my whole room. Oh, that turned. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna turn the screen recording off. I would say that that's like, not super accurate, but at the same time, kinda accurate. Like, some things were right, but most of it wasn't. But those questions were really like, confusing. I feel like if they had a better like, English translation to them, it would have been easier. But, um, yeah, so I guess I'm gonna figure out some yellow outfit and I'll come back to show you. Okay, so I did take the test again. I'll put the picture like right here for a second. And I did get like a dark blue, um, which I also don't really have any in my closet. But I tried to pick these because there's like the little yellow flowers. Same with this, there's the yellow. Um, although this one is obviously mainly black and this one's kind of blue. Um, this is like the best that I have unless I specifically bought an outfit for this video, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna take some photos and see you then. Okay guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Um, I've been personally trying to get a lot more comfortable with photos of myself in outfits that do show my stomach, which is what I tried to have both of these do to just push myself a little bit harder. Um, because if you don't know, I am working out a lot more and trying to eat better. I have a whole Snapchat private story for it if you want to follow me on Snapchat and just ask to be added to it and I'll add you. Um, but I want to just be healthier and more comfortable with myself because at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself, nobody else will. It doesn't matter what anybody else says about you as long as you know that you're a bad bitch, no one can bring you down. And that is what I am trying to do. I'm just trying to let my inner bad bitch out, basically. Um, so yeah, uh, this video was kind of out of my comfort zone, but I am slowly making it part of my comfort zone. So yeah, um, I don't know which ones I'm gonna post, um, <laughs> or I might post both. I'm kind of going through the editing part of the photos now. Um, obviously, I would have already put some of the photos. If not, here's some more. Um, but yeah, uh, check my Instagram out, give them a like. Be sweet, don't be rude, spread positivity, you know the drill. Anyway, I will see you all next week, bye.